All right, a little update. Uh, the truck, I swapped the Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris Cam in there, and uh, I did get it running. Played a little bit with it on HP tuners, and uh, I drove 12 hours round trip to go pick up another another car, and uh, untuned. Only a little bit of tuning that I did, and uh, about an hour or two away from getting back, about four in the morning, it just seems like it was started to tick louder and louder. And I'm like, well, I don't think that's valve train. Now I'm thinking it's the, I'm thinking maybe it's got a bad piston. I think that uh, by the time I got to it, uh, doing the DOD delete and the cam swap, I think it, I think the piston is just, is one of the pistons gotta be toast because it's got that cold start piston slap sound even when it's warm so uh at first it was actually went away and now it's back so i may try and adjust the the uh rocker arms maybe see maybe one of them came loose and it's tapping but i'm thinking if that don't do it <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and uh take all my stuff back out of that truck and i'm just gonna put it into my new project so this is kind of an update uh introduce you guys to my newest and latest project here so here she is so it's a 2006 corvette c6 and uh got a pretty sweet deal on it i think it's up there in the miles a little bit 142,000, but overall overall it's not bad so it's got a clean title surprisingly <laughs> i'm really surprised it's got a clean title uh and so basically the main thing with this vehicle is it's got some fiberglass damage here and down on the uh side skirts it's worse on the passenger side though hence the reason i got it for the price i did it went through an auction, so I think it got repoed. Uh, I think this vehicle was repoed from somebody, but they basically tore up the side skirts. I looked at the underbody, the whole undercarriage. It's good to go. There's a couple scrapes, but as far as the oil pan, the front, and everything like that, it's good. So I don't know if this vehicle got repoed, and they put it up on maybe a tow truck, and that's where all this came from or what, because you can tell that the bumper's cracked, the side skirts, but if you look at the whole undercarriage, there's really minimal scratching for how bad the bumper is cracked up here. But over the that, I mean, it, when it runs, it's got an electrical gremlin too. So that's, that's the thing I'm trying to fix right now. I'm trying to sort out all the grounds, put a new battery in it. At this point, uh, I wrapped up the exhaust a little bit try and keep heat away from the starter i'm starting to find out there's this is kind of a, a common problem with these vehicles but this is definitely one of my dream vehicles a c6 corvette and when it runs it runs good but i think it's got a grounding issue or maybe some kind of a short in the wiring because when you drive it and it's cold it runs good good power i mean nothing the whole as far as the car the drivability of it or not the drivability, but the uh, overall, how it drives, it's still really tight, really solid, no noises. But it's when it warms up, the RPMs will go to zero, and it almost seems like it's going into limp mode and it's throwing a crank position sensor. And sometimes it can position sensor code. And so I'll shut it off, and uh, it'll kind of balance, or uh, I'll unhook the battery and then it'll be fine. Or if I let it cool down, Boom, and it's fine. But sometimes it'll die if it comes to the light. So what I did, I got a brand new battery for it. Got an AGM. It had a, an older battery that still had good voltage. It still had good voltage, but it was a lead acid. Now, I heard that on these vehicles, you really don't want to mess with the lead acid battery. So it was leaking a little bit. So I went down there. I cleaned up. Uh, so last night, I cleaned up the uh, mass airflow sensor. I cleaned up three grounds, sanded them down, cleaned them up. 
I did solder uh, one pin in here on the second block in. It had a burnt wire there. Uh, one ground, I cleaned that one. And there's two under the battery tray. I pulled the battery tray out, put baking soda and water, neutralize all the old battery acid. Then I got an AGM. I tried to get an Optima, but nobody sells them in town. So I got the Odyssey. This is the only one in town that would fit in uh, for a Corvette. 350 bucks. But that's one thing out of the way. So at this point, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do if it still has problems, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the starter. I did have the starter checked out and the starter tested good at O'Reilly's. It tested good, so I put it back on. I wrapped the exhaust because what I heard is because the catalytic converters and uh, the catalytic converters and uh, it's so close to the starter that basically the starter will get heat soaked. And what happens is when it's hot, uh, the starter is actually drawing too much current and that's, uh, basically it drops down the overall, uh, you know, uh, power of the charging system, the starting system. And basically it'll start throwing codes like that because you're not getting enough voltage to other, uh, you know, sensors. So first things first. The battery was leaking a little bit, so I said, you know what, I'm going to bite the bullet. We're going to go ahead and do the battery. Next, I'm going to go ahead and check the alternator. I did have a little bit of voltage drop between the battery and the B+. Plus. The B+, plus and the alternator, and the battery and the alternator. About 0.5. I know that's what GM says. It's okay, but it was kind of all over the place, so I'm thinking... We're going to see if it does. I'm going to get it warmed up. We're going to see if maybe wrapping that exhaust down there that I did. Uh, we'll see if that keeps, if the vehicle will basically run longer without stalling out. Because if it is, then I know I can say for sure it's probably the starter I need to replace. And I also have a heat shield here. I'm going to try it with the exhaust first. But what I'll end up doing is I'm going to buy a new starter. I'm going to wrap the new starter. And then I'm going to buy some more exhaust wrap. I'm going to wrap the whole headers further back just to keep the heat off the starter. So uh, the next thing is I'm probably, when I go back to get a starter and all that, I'm going to go ahead and take the alternator off too. And I'm going to have it bring it in. I'm going to have them test that just to make sure. But I think the alternator is fine. It looks, looks good. It's got an app on it, uh, voltage. So really... We're gonna go ahead and do a startup. So, yeah, overall, uh, also, I uh, put brand new plugs in them. I put some laser iridiums, about 15 bucks a plug. <laughs> I got brand new plugs in my other truck, and I ended up taking the wires off of the other truck, these brand new ones that I put on that truck because I think the motor's starting to knock now. So, I'm basically gonna pull that motor out and I'll probably just rebuild it. Uh, so it's going to be pretty much LS parts for this motor. This has got 243 heads. That truck's got 243 heads, aluminum block, and I have another set of 243 heads. So the main priority is sorting out the electrical gremlins, getting this thing dialed into where I can at least drive it without it dying at a stoplight. And then I need to clean up my garage. <laughs> Excuse the mess, but I need to clean up my garage. So let's do a first start in about two days now. Just kind of walk around and everything. I know that you can get, uh, with the Chevys, the mass airflow sensor, if you get a bug or anything like that on them. Uh, if you have a dirty air filter, this will make your vehicle run like shit. Excuse my language, but this will make it run. So I cleaned that up really good. I'm going to change the air filters. So I'm going to go pick up some air filters for this too at the parts store quick. And then also... I'm going to grab a few relays while I'm at the parts store here. So I'm going to head over to the parts store right now. I'm going to drive this a little bit just to kind of see where we're at and see if anything changed. But basically, I do have some burnt relays. I went through and took this whole fuse box up apart. And I went ahead. I tightened up all the fuses. I cleaned all the pins on the bottom. And I went through every relay on here and pinched them in just a little bit so it's got a good tight connection. So that didn't do it. 
Well, actually, I haven't even drove it for two days. I didn't drive it at all yesterday because it was just raining and raining. And I'm like, no. So today, this is going to be the test. It could have been this. It could have been the battery. It could have been the grounds. It could have been heat from the starter. I fixed. I went through all these things so far. And so now it's just going to be a test. Normally, what I would do is I would do one thing at a time and drive it. And that's kind of what I've been doing. But... We don't always get, uh, you know, yesterday it was raining so bad and it's, it's been raining all day today. So now it's just kind of sprinkling off very lightly on and off and then we'll be clear for the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and fire it up. It's got uh, cats. Cats are still on it, but they chopped the mufflers off. So it's basically straight pipe, it, uh, straight pipe with cats. Uh, and it dumps off just behind the axle. So I'm not a fan of that, but I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to have them weld some straight pipes. I might delete the cats just because I did wrap one of the cats. But yeah, this is a sweet car for what I paid for it. It's, I don't mind a little bit of the fiberglass being broken. I don't mind doing some work for the price, right? These vehicles cheapest you can get one is about 25,000 uh minus the bodywork right in this area 25,000 minus the bodywork but on average they go closer to 30 35,000 no matter where you look like you just have to to get one of these for the price that I paid it's a little you know plastics and shit like that one right there right but overall the thing is a solid car it just needs some tlc you know uh and for what i paid for it i'm fine saving twenty thousand dollars and doing a little bit of work myself i enjoy doing it so here we go first start